In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create this colorful logo reveal animation in HitFilm Express. Alright, let's get started. From the template, choose 1080p Full HD at 60 frames per second. Then click on Start Compositing. From the workspaces, select Compositing. So uh, make sure that your primer window is hidden. I can just click on this checkbox to hide the trimmer window click on the settings icon right here and change the duration of our we'll change the duration of our composite shot to five seconds then click on ok now you can click on import and uh, search for your logo if you have any since i don't have any logos i'm gonna quickly create one in hitfilm express so i'll just fast forward this and I'll be right back all right I have created my logo now once you have your logo in the timeline you just have to highlight it and uh, just right click and click on make composite shot I'm just gonna name it logo comp this is just to just in case you decided to go with a different logo you can just drag that logo on top of your new the old logo and all the changes will be uh, visible on your composite shot so you won't have to do redo everything from scratch on your new logo now I'll create a new background so I'm just gonna create a new background set its color to white and then click on OK I'm gonna drop it below the logo comp layer now the next step is to expand this transform go to transform and this change the scale value so we'll animate it on the first frame of your video just uh, set the scale to 0% and uh, create a keyframe by clicking on this circle icon and move your playhead to about 1.30 seconds and then set the scale to 100% okay now this is our animation pretty linear so let's make it a bit more smooth so, uh, select both of these keyframes and then click on this icon to convert the keyframes to manual bezier then click on value graph drag this handle to the right and this one to the left and uh, this is our animation okay now once you're satisfied with your animation, uh, you just have to right click on the, your logo comp layer and click on duplicate or you can press Ctrl D on a keyboard to duplicate it. Uh, in the effects tab, search for, uh, search for fill color and drag it on top of your second layer. Expand the fill color and just change the fill color to a different color. I'm going to use this color picker tool and just pick this color from our logo that you created and open this color picker window and uh, just drag the slider to the bottom just to create a darker shade of that blue color and I'm, I'm clicking on OK so we have these two shapes and as you can see your, your text this text of your logo is visible so go to the second logo comp layer and uh, make sure that the blend amount is at 100% okay now you can just rename this to uh, dark blue or whatever but uh, if you do that just select that layer and uh, you have to duplicate this uh, eight times so I'm gonna hold the control key on the keyboard and uh, press the hit the D key eight times so I'm gonna start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Uh, we'll select the third layer, go to effects, fill color, and let's start changing the colors of all these layers that we just duplicated. So I'm gonna randomly pick colors from the from this window. Okay, once you have filled these layers with um, different colors, select the ninth layer and uh, move it to the shift it to the right side by about eight frames. So I'm going to display this. this you can just right click on right click here and uh, display your as time or display as frames. I'm going to set it to display as frames. I'm going to move this uh, ninth layer and I'm going to shift it to the right by 8 frames so as you can, you can see that the text right there 8 frames I'm going to do the exact same thing with the 8th layer but this time I'm going to move shift it by 16 frames so if you do remember the table of 8 now after 16 is 24 32 40 and 48 56 I guess and then 64 yeah maybe okay now let's play our animation and see how it looks so far okay that is looking pretty nice now we can see you have to play around with the colors you just have to choose the right colors For example right here uh, I would like to change this color right here so I'm gonna select that and I'm going to change it to a different color so this is how our animation looks now expand the logo comp layer, the first layer go to the scale and select the second keyframe want to scale, down, scale it down to about 92% go to the value graph and we'll add some bounce effect to it so just select this handle and move it to the top like so so now uh, let me just scrub through this and as you can see that there's that bounce effect in it okay i'm pretty satisfied with this I'm gonna play this animation once more. Okay, looks cool. Now I'll add a new text layer and uh, set the width to 600 by 300. Click, gonna click on OK. Select the text tool and type in your text. I'm gonna type in motion epic. And then change the font to moon and decrease the size to around 80. I'm gonna change the font color as well. Let's just drag it below our logo. Now we have to animate our text as well so I'll just first of all create a new plain layer make it black and uh, I'm gonna name it matte set the width to 600 by height to 300 same as our text layer I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 50% 
Now let's animate our text. Go to transform position. Okay, now right here I want my text to be right over there. And I'll just create a keyframe at that position, at that point. And I'm going to scrub back and uh, just create a move the move the text to the top like this so we have something uh, we'll have something like this now let's highlight both of these keyframes and uh, click on this icon to convert it to manual bezier good value graph and uh, Let's drag this handle to the left. This one to the right, just a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my position keyframe and um, Let's select like the last keyframe and uh, move it right over here. Just positioning the keyframes and uh, I think that's looking fine. So search in the effects tab, search for set mat and draw drag it on top of the new text layer. The controls tab the set mat set the source layer to matte and set the blend to subtract then you can click on this eyeball to toggle off its visibility now let's preview this and see what we have created okay just have to move that matte layer below right over there is fine now let's play it again and I think it's looking fine and that's how you create the colorful logo reveal animation in HitFilm Express I hope this video was helpful if it was please do leave a like and subscribe to this channel I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.